So Sue, so what do you feel you've gained by coming along to the communication group? Um, going to a group of people who also have aphasia themselves, this has been, it's actually brilliant for me because it, you need to meet people who, who've got what you've got. Um, it's a little bit like um, if, you, if if somebody would, had cancer, they need people who cancer themselves, and so it was my friend had discovered um, about City Lit that they have aphasia groups, and um, luckily for me. I live in North London, and for me, get in if I go in um, in town to see City Lit. It's easy for me to get there, um, and I know for people it's very important because people come from out of London to go to a aphasia group. And basically, the reason for me is that other other people understand what I what it is. Because that's sharing of it. Yes. All very individual experiences. Yes. Being able to share. Yes. And I think you mentioned it's that feeling that lots of people in the group, if you're talking about telephone use. Yes, that's very horrible. I mean, I can, I go, and it depends on what I have to say. But um, one of the problems, if you've got aphasia, uh, anything with numbers or colours or uh, weeks, months, anything where you have, you can't, it's not that you can't remember because you can, but you can't, for some reason, you can't say it. So for me, I can say one, two, three, four, but if you said to me, um, April, and I have to go January, February, March, April. So you use your lead in. So I have to all, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I can't just, most people will say, oh, this month is April. But for me, I have to go from the beginning, okay. January, February, March, and that's how it works. And the same with numbers. But being in the group, you will see many other people using the same. It's, it's, it's a way of supporting or leading in. It so is, very much. Uh, it, it's one of the really nice uh, being at the group is you start talking and all of a sudden, what is up here? You know exactly what you're going to say. And it comes to about there and then it stops. And you open your mouth and... And for some reason, it won't, it won't, it won't come through the mouth. And what I really enjoy is that nobody, they just stay quiet until you are ready to be able to speak again. And I hope very much in the group we tell each other off if we spoke yes, too soon. Yes, that is why I like. So if everyone is quiet, even if it takes five minutes for that person to speak the word itself it's much easier people will be very kind and and it's a bit like they will put the word for you mm -hmm. and you will please don't because it'll never come back if i it, it it cuts it off yeah just as you're ready to say the word somebody said do you mean and then they give the word and think, yes if, but I can't now because you just <laughs> cut it through. So you almost have to educate and as a group get yes. that advisory of yes. telling other people what helps and what doesn't. Yes, I think so. Often... Yeah, and I think I wouldn't expect people to know anyway because frankly, uh, aphasia, uh, I hadn't even heard it before until I got it myself and all of a sudden you find it. Most people say, really? What is it? So and you say, well, and then there's another problem because 
aphasia, because it comes through, well, it's a, the part of the brain, it's um, language, mm -hmm. if you say, and, and, uh, anything with words. And because we are homo sapiens, our brains are very complicated. So for one person, aphasia will, uh, some people can't do, uh, numbers for me is, is very, uh, that's very, um, uh, that is very, um, very, it's, a lot of people have with numbers for some reason. Yeah. And they believe this is because you can't get any, um, there's no visual. So, because you're talking about something like um, horses, you can visual. <laughs> yes. But if you have to say the name one, there's nothing to, it's just, a, it's just what it is. But you can't visual it at all. Um, but um, I've got lost. <laughs> so we were talking about numbers and also very much saying within the group, yes. making sure that people don't speak for you. And yes. if you can see somebody else maybe perhaps struggling to mm. find a, to searching for a word. Mm. Um, and you were describing about how we're all very individual. Yes, well. yes. So, so for one person, they could do, um, for some people, uh, numbers is fine for them. For other people, it'll be colours. Or, or if you sort of imagine that, that it comes, for some people go that way, somebody else goes up that way, they go down there. Uh, it's just a tiny little change and that is the again in a way it's to me it's like fascinating in a way to have aphasia because i've always been quite interesting with brain itself mm. um but that's how you found out that there is it's a bit like it used to be you talking about uh uh icebergs right you see what you see about that and down there mm. the re yeah. and that's the same this is hidden, isn't it? yeah it's, it's the same word people can't appreciate yeah. what effort sometimes yeah. is going yeah. on but that's again going back to the idea of the group mm -hmm. is that you're able to I hope very much sort of share yes experience yes yes so if you were meeting somebody new to you with aphasia were there some things that you might say why why you might recommend coming to a group like we have at City Lives? I think mainly it's the fact that they'll meet people who've got the same problems. Right. Uh, because I think what a lot of people do now, they just because you've never heard of it before, mm -hmm. they just presume um, are there other people who've got this? Yeah. And if you meet people that have the same problems that you have in a, in a different way, because it's from person to yeah, person. that individual basis. Um, I think it gets you, I mean, for me, when I realise that other people can suddenly also have good, you know, language or words is a big thing for people. And for me, what happened to me was I went to bed and I could speak. And then I woke up later and suddenly I can't speak at all. And it takes a while. You get speech therapy and little things, but you have to you have to understand what is happening to you. Yes. And that is why a group or aphasia groups, they understand themselves in the way that nobody else understands. So no professionals or yeah. 
friends, family, yeah. friends. It's yeah, nobody gets no. it until you've happened to you. And obviously, I would, wouldn't want anyone to happen. But if you've got it, it's very important that our people understand how it works.